I'm gonna just go ahead and start recording. So I don't care, man. Let it rip, Tater Chip. <sighs> Back that was in the, the day, thing I've ever said. It, it, that, I've yeah, ever said. that's like top three easily. <laughs> I'm glad we got to experience that together. But go ahead, my bad. Back in the day, you know this more than I do about. Because I'm old. <laughs> messed up, <laughs> so messed up. No, I just had a birthday. Don't rub that shit in. <laughs> you know, going to the video like Blockbuster or my case like Video Shack. I don't know if they had that down in Florida, but. Mm. That I was, don't think so. That was more of a local thing, but obviously everybody knows Blockbuster. Right. And you know, I I enjoyed the experience back then of like, oh, we get off of work, I get out of school, and then we go immediately to Blockbuster with my dad. Yep. Going through the aisles. Couldn't, like, picking out a game literally, like, took some time and some effort because the only Consideration. thing Consideration. Right. Because the only thing... <laughs> I can only pick one. <laughs> yep. And if I choose wrong, wrong. then I got to <laughs> deal with this decision for the whole All weekend. weekend. Right. Yes. Um, and so the only thing you're going off of is like just the back of the box. Pictures I... <laughs> and some weird ass description. Right. And so like you get it home. You might not like it. You might love it. Uh, I've had some games that I picked up and I'm like, damn, this is actually phenomenal. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus was one of those experiences. I just went into GameStop one day and I was like, I don't even know what I want. Like, I'm just I'm just in here because my mom's here shopping. Um, but picked up Shadow of the Colossus and That's awesome. I could not put that game down for nothing. I was like, I... I, like this is like one of the greatest finds ever like it was one of the best experiences i've had with gaming in such a long time it was truly a hidden gem um and also since my parents were extremely uh religious and very strict this one passed the bar because there was literally nothing there's like no blood no nothing you're just it's just basically just a boss run right but i'm saying all this to say you know, back in the day, there was no information available to help you make decisions when it comes to gaming. Um, there was no YouTube or nothing. YouTube wasn't even available. I'm old, we're older than YouTube. Let that sink in for a little bit. If it happens again, just keep it pressing. I'll jump back in. I'm good. All right. Well, I was saying that, you know... I said all the things about Blockbuster and whatnot. Right. To say that there was no there was no guides to help you make a decision when it came to gaming. I'm talking about like whatever you were picking out. Um It was a commitment. Like, yeah, it was a commitment. And when you got the game, there was no guide to help you. Unless you, you know, were lucky enough to have your parents buy the actual like some games came with guides that you would take home with you. Um, but yeah, there was just no, there were the only tutorial is what you got if the game decided to give it to you. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, what's funny though, not to, not to butt in there, but you know, what game was like that for me where I just went in and was like, I'm going to try something new. Weirdly enough, Tokyo Extreme Racer. Really? <laughs> yep. I remember standing in for all you older folks out there, a circuit city. Cause my pops was there oh, buying Jesus, some, I, some that's, speaker. That's a memory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right and i was standing there and i was like i can only buy one game and i just want to race and i picked up this game and literally i'm like sitting here jonesing for the new one to come out but just like that too it was just like ah, am i really going to commit to this picture but you know what paid off because <laughs> yeah you're paid absolutely off. addicted yeah um, like yeah, it spurred like your entire like uh, Art, right. <laughs> like inf my total total car infatuation came from right. that game 100 um, percent. but uh i do digress keep going my friend i was saying like back like i also remember like the reason this topic comes up is, is because i saw an article and it's been a lot of conversation about sparking zero out which is basically tenkaichi right uh, renewed and i am having a fantastic time with this game you're having this a is... horrible time <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a great time with this game. It's just, it's nice to see my 
childhood in 4K, basically, because all the graphics are revamped. You know how you don't want to play an old game because you want the memory of it in your mind to stay that way. You don't want to go back and look at it um, because there's just no telling like what the graphics will look like to you. Um, but now just being able to play Tenkaichi with upgraded graphics, the particle effects, the explosions, it's just like a love letter to those who grew up uh, during the PlayStation 2 era, era and during the Tenkaichi series. Um, I but agree. Okay. My <laughs> people are, there's an article. I have to find it again. I'll put it up on screen, but it was basically saying that 90% of Spark and Zero's fan base has left. And now it doesn't surprise me because obviously I don't see Tenkaichi as like a tournament style game. It's always been similar to Super Smash Brothers for me because it's just something to get your buddies together and just and just go at it basically. Um, and just have just get some popcorn, some drinks and just have a fun time for the night. That's how it used to be for me. You know, couldn't wait to get my buddies over for the night. And we disrespect them. Right, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole point. But another thing that people have started to complain about is that when they are playing online, they're, out of all the hundred characters that Spark and Zero has to offer, you only see four. Out of all the people that play, it's either Kojita, Ultra Instinct Goku. What's another? <laughs> I can't. I can't remember the other ones. Uh, like the really probably powerful. Vegito. It's probably Vegito, Gogeta, definitely Ultra Instinct, uh, Goku. Uh, Hit. Okay. I've heard Hit is like a, a favorite well, first as well. Off, Hit is a fan. And Jiren. Character. And, well, yeah, I mean Jiren's a powerhouse. <laughs> if you've watched uh, Super, but. I mean, I understand Hit. Hit's a monster. Yeah. But it kind of sucks, though, because there's so many other really good play like um, characters out there. Yes. But that's that. That's that bullshit but, that's out there. <laughs> but that's what happens when you got YouTubers. I don't know if there's... I haven't watched any YouTube videos about Spark and Zero at all. Um, but I know that there is, like, this culture around, like, having meta characters metal builds metal Instinct. weapons instantly right and like within the first two 20, 24 hours 48 hours of a game coming out youtube videos already out trying to tell you like what you should be already using and then everybody flocks to this video and then you hop in the next day now everybody's using the same weapon with these same attachments um yep. it loses for me it loses the variety of what I come across and it also ru like ruins that uniqueness as well because I remember playing Modern Warfare series back in the day and I would like whenever you know kill somebody just picking up their kit and seeing what they're using oh I love doing yeah. that and I'm like <laughs> the first some of the weapon combinations I'm like why are you using this like oh, I'm <laughs> I picked up some stuff I'm like how in the hell did you kill me with this <laughs> And then I'm like, am I trash? Was it right. luck? You start and questioning. And then I start using it. And then I'm like, oh, oh, okay, I see. And then I get right. killed and I'm like, how do I get that back? What gun was that? Exactly. And then you go back to the lobby and you're like, oh, I need to create this. And then that's where I get these combinations from. Like, I I like that community aspect uh, of just figuring it, figuring it out as you go and using the community to like... I don't know what, the, like using the community to find different varieties in weaponry and play styles. Um, and I just, it's this generation, and I hate to be that guy. I feel like it's one of these old man yells at cloud videos. Uh, mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's like a generation that hates to lose or doesn't want to lose because they're so concerned about their KD. I, I just remember playing COD for the first time and getting absolutely wrecked for like a week straight because <laughs> it was like my first introduction to online game ever and i didn't know what the hell was going on i walk out i'm dead immediately i just like the <laughs> whole thought of like what the hell just happened like wh what hit me and from where why do i have no armor or just in general like where's the curiosity of like the game you know what i mean like 
figuring out just what you like. Why do I have to like what everybody else likes? And I know I already hear it in the comments. Well, you don't have to do that. I understand, but there's a large populace of people that play games that are only going to play if it's the meta of whatever. Right. And like, that's super cool and all. And I don't get me wrong on some games. I do have a couple of those meta builds because it works for the content that I'm trying to run, like in raids and stuff like that. But like, like I know we always go back to this game, but battlefield, that damn machine gun was everywhere. Like, can you just use something else? Like, can you just be creative <laughs> in some thought process, you damn hive mind? Like, just do something different. And I think it's, like, especially irritating when fighting games because you, like me, like, I just I just want to box. Like, Kai Blast, like, all that's beautiful, is great to look at, but I just want to throw hands. And I just, and I don't want to keep, like, you don't want to keep throwing hands with the same four characters all the time. And since you're playing online, you would expect a, like a large variety of like people using like their favorite characters. But no, people are so afraid of that number coming ticking down. <laughs> They're well, getting anxiety about losing. Like I'm gonna be honest, yep. your KD is tied to your status and your hierarchy. <laughs> but mm -hmm. then your friend grew back in the day. I'm gonna just say that. But that's it. with everything that's that's right. a, a challenge based game. Like not even just KD on like a shooting game. I'll tell you what, you were getting bodied in NBA Street and we were talking about you like all day. <laughs> 2K and Madden have ruined more friendships than probably right. anything in right. gaming. It's funny you say that because I just saw a video where somebody literally lost their life over a 2K game. It's a video that's... game. You lost your life. Over, you, you know shot what, somebody over a video game? Okay, that that's wild. But what I would say with um, Sparking Zero, you know, using your favorite character, I will say this though. Like, I can understand using a stronger character online, though I haven't played online, but my observation with it. So, like, my favorite character, A, is PyCon. Love him, but he's not in the game. Um, that's crazy. But I'm a big, which. If you watch the anime series, I don't understand how he's not in the game, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Point is, though, like I'm a big Super Boo fan. Love Super Boo. Think he's fantastic. But like I was using Super Boo and then I unlocked um, Super Saiyan uh, 4 Vegeta, right? That character is so damn fast <laughs> compared to Super Boo. It's like a totally different game is being played. Right. But even if you go on like, cause I don't know how far you got into the game. Cause I know you finished Goku's uh, timeline, but I would, I finished Vegeta's and I started to go through Goku's. Vegeta is completely different than how f freaking fast Goku is with just basic move sets. So I can understand where someone gets online and they say, well, to only be competitive, I have to use certain stuff because the speed of some of these characters is wild. Let's see, I'm, for me, like, I don't, like, I'm playing with, it's crazy, I cannot believe I'm, I, like, I'm playing this. Go on, say it. I can't believe I'm playing <laughs> Dragon Ball with, like, the main character, because that's usually not something I go with. Um, like, I usually, I like Trunks, and I've been playing with, Ooh, uh, just kidding. <laughs> Future Trunks, I enjoy playing with him, that was, like, one of my main characters back in the Tenkaichi series, but... I'm I don't I'm un, I don't understand how I'm having so much fun playing with like Goku uh, Super, um, and I like starting out as base Goku, and not only just starting as base Goku, but letting somebody power up and I'm still waxing your ass with base Goku, like you you need to be fighting me hard enough to make me want to transform. Like that's that that's how I feel about transformations. Like, are you worthy of me turning the heat up in this match? That's how I feel. Like, make me, make me transform. <laughs> well, I mean, that's also kind of the point of the transformation, right? Is that it's the fight has become elevated. Right. I mean, if you're just gonna come in and Super Saiyan God mode, well, it takes. I understand. The... Don't get me wrong. I understand why you do that because that's the character. But also, if you're a fan of the anime, they go through the transformations you right. know what i mean like yeah. it's like oh so you want to talk about mama like from white <laughs> chicks like okay bet bitch like we can turn up then and both of you are Bo just yelling at each other <laughs> <laughs> who can scream louder and right. change their hair colors 
uh but yeah it's like elevating like the like the intensity of the match players get faster stronger supers hit harder um and like here there is a there's more at stake when somebody has powered up to their highest level and they're about to hit you with their ultimate like this is a point where you need to you need to dodge <laughs> because it's right. gonna take off a lot of your health and like when a character goes sparking or whatever it is right. and they get all purple like or you're like hey, hey, like hey it's actually on. right Whoa. it's like tension at this point like you don't like you don't want to set yourself up to be hit with the ultimate with uh, a freaking combo into a freaking ultimate and in right. the entire game but yeah i just like i've always enjoyed variety and i've always enjoyed being able to use the character like what i consider to be my favorite and i don't care how like some some people will say oh like in mortal kombat like different characters like they don't do well versus this character i don't care i'm going to try and make it work as much as i don't care how many times i've lost i remember uh, my cousin you know but i remember mm -hmm. we played a hundred straight matches and of just mortal kombat and i was so willing to try and make this character work against his and i eventually got the cadence down like I, I actually learned like what not like how to adapt to this character and i just feel like nobody wants to take the time to adapt anymore everybody just wants to be big dick but at the end of the day mm. like they have not taken the time to sit down and understand the core of the game and understand the fundamentals and i feel like if you understand the fundamentals then you'll have a way you'll have a way better time with the game when you're just when you can just box on an equal level and not have well, to worry like, about your kd or whatever well, even even isn't that what happened with chef when he got on there he got on there and fought uh mr satan and yeah. ended up getting bodied <laughs> i mean i don't want to put him out like that but i mean sometimes just somebody knowing a character and their i don't know their stream of combinations and stuff listen man you can catch somebody out and just get your freaking ass stomped so right. it just doesn't and you know what good on them you right. know what i mean because like, i, I want to hop right back in <laughs> i hated baraka in mortal kombat i hated that <laughs> freaking character couldn't stand him when he would just get down on one knee and he would just flick his arms out with his little blades <laughs> hated it because i i'm a big scorpion fan um so yeah he would always catch me out that way but you look at it and be like am i mad at you because i got because you're spamming a move or am i mad at myself because i still let myself get set up for that move like how do i combat that right which i always thought i find that to be fun and maybe it's just because it's you and i that, that play a lot of these games together and obviously there's different strengths in different games like we'll just go and go okay so why are you good at that like right. how did you do that i need to know yeah. how you did that exactly and that's why we would hate to do this to you but that's why I'm no mean. we're not doing it <laughs> not doing it people i'm that's going why. out on youtube you'll never catch me in there boy <laughs> that's why I, I, me and chef were trying to get you in there because even when so me cute. and chef were fighting that's good we were asking each other like hey how did you do that like make sure that's working like how are you dodging me like i'm telling like i'm giving him tips or giving i'm each so other glad y'all do that man that's crazy oh my god You're so helpful <laughs> that's good friendship right there man that's that's beautiful <sighs> but anyway this uh. video is just to say that like no one cares about the numbers guys like stop letting your anxiety get to you whenever that number starts ticking down because it's okay to fail Failure means something was learned. It has to. What is there to be learned by Not winning? Not when I'm using um, Gogeta. <laughs> <laughs> you worry about that. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. That, to be fair. That's not, that's not the only problem wrong with the game. People have said they've experienced like hacking. And there's been some major balancing issues. Um, because obviously, like every online game, right? Um, and it's, it's pretty bad for Dragon Ball because I know they want to stick within the like power limits of the character, like they want to be lore accurate. But okay, I don't know mm. how that's going to translate to like online. But like I said, it ain't. <laughs> It's, well, it's just not like you're not right. going to get in there and you're not going to use TN versus freaking 
you know, general. unless you're just like, a, we're not doing that. Unless you're just like, like you've been playing for a long time, you understand the fundamentals. But yeah, you're I'm not letting just you know right now. There's only so many solar flares and you know tri beams you can shoot at somebody before a, a top tier Goku <laughs> player is gonna come in there and be like, "All right, we're gonna stop that right now." <laughs> But yeah, I just, I, like, I miss those days of just working through a game and figuring it out for ourselves. We still do that a lot of the times. It's like when we hop into a Monster game, Hunter. Yeah, like, we, we just, we take what, like, obviously we're overwhelmed, overstimulated immediately in that game. But after a couple of hours, things start to make sense. And I feel like that's better for you than immediately you know hopping in just to see oh which weapon is the strongest can can you not <laughs> can you not just just stop looking on youtube to try and find the best weapon combinations in call of duty just use what you like if you're getting bodied it's on you it's not the gun yeah, good. i always oh. say that it's it is always you um and also the connection because obviously they got some hit reg <laughs> some uh oh, some, some don't even start with that <laughs> shooting character no hit markers nah mm, boy right next thing i know i'm in the heavens yeah no, I'm, not, I'm good <laughs> yeah because people are saying like it sometimes it feels like i am like my hits are hitting really well but then other times i feel like i empty the clip and the enemy turns around and bodies me in two shots yeah, uh, that's that's Call when of Duty I dashboard finest. immediately. <laughs> <laughs> so when I get on Sims, I'm done. Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Police simulator. I don't know. Farming. <laughs> but yeah, I don't even know what we were complaining about. I think we were just reminiscing. That's what that whole video. <laughs> yeah, no, it was more about meta, man. Right. You know, like it's cool if you're a person out there that enjoys that type of thing like that's cool i appreciate you know the fact that you know that's the reason why you get on is you want to be strong or, or whatever that is like i applaud that that's how you play games but i do miss the i do miss the the kind of figure it out type stuff Absolutely. like i'll give you a great one like i remember when i first figured out i can use one of the because you and i talk about this game in metal gear when i could actually like hot f drop people out of the out of the um, war zone and take them back to base oh yeah like, when i first figured out i could do that i was like oh that's awesome <laughs> and then i realized i could do it with like vehicles but like i just feel like now someone has to look up and go okay how do i get to that point right now which <laughs> try, and, try and figure it out a little bit man because then you really appreciate that mechanic not only that but i feel like that also like i try not when it comes to games like that metal gear of like really respect really respected developers i don't look up anything because i want everything to be a surprise game mechanics i don't look it up either i just wait for you to figure it out and i'll be like hey man how'd you do that <laughs> that yeah that's true but all yeah. like one of the things that really bothered me i was thinking about this is like when i was the first time i uh fallen order came out jedi fallen order came out mm -hmm. i was just going through the game just as usual and just i was just going scrolling through youtube one day and i got i got spoiled within the thumbnail and it was a really small spoiler but i didn't know that he was able to use a dual blade and i was like man that just ruined it like it ruined the surprise for me because i'm like damn i didn't even know that was in the game but now now I have to go find that. Like, where is it? Like, I, I just felt right. like that moment, that special moment was ruined because it's obviously a surprise, but some dickhead decided to just put that directly in the thumbnail. But yeah, yeah. That's, that's the end of my rant. But yeah. That's a good Tuesday. A good Tuesday <laughs> rant. It's use what you want to use, guys. Ignore the meta bills. Just go crazy. Let's get back to chaos. Let's get back to using our brains. Let's just get back to being better gamers. You got any more thoughts, guys? No, I'm good, man. That was that was a good wrap up. Oh, we appreciate no, you guys. Me, what you said? I was gonna say, let me get on YouTube real quick and look at this meta build real quick. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for listening. I'm Cal. I'm Ghost. And this was Skill Point.